Okay. Vega Central Processing. I think this is the last level. You reclaim the crucible and are returning to Mars. You must close the well and the power source of the hell portal on Mars. To do this, you will have to make one last hell jump. Samuel has a plan to send you back to the well's location. He will need your assistance to carry it out. I am Vega. Who's Vega? You have the crucible, and with it the means to contain the power of the well. We have a plan to send you there. Vega will walk you through the process. First of all, I'm over here, there's a data log over there. Five different glory kills on imps. A grenade, Cacodemon with the chainsaw. I can do Cacodemon with the chainsaw. Don't really feel like doing anything else. I have 13 weapon upgrade points. Don't really want to use any of them. Kill multiple demons with a single heat blast. Yeah, I'm not doing that either. Beach mode? What the hell did I get 13? Charge up a powerful beam that penetrates targets. But if I do this and this and get the mastery, I can move. Kill three or more demons with a siege mode beam ten times. Seriously. I'll think about it. What's with all the corpses, people? Vega. Vega is powered by a mix of unrefined argent plasma taken directly from the argent fracture and UAC technology. While details regarding the development of Vega are a closely guarded secret, it is rumored that Vega's core is powered by a piece of arcane technology found near the Argent Factor. The behavior in calculating power of Vega is unprecedented in AI theory, and the system is to some extent self-taught. After the initial core software was uploaded, Vega began gathering data from all the UAC subsystems without oversight and effectively took control of the mass facility operations. Vega also proposed a more effective method for processing Argent Plasma into Argent Energy, devised better analysis theorems, and even designed new Argent Compression Schema, allowing for the development of Argent Caches and later the Argent Accumulator. Uh, it's kind of scary. Okay. Next collectible is that guy over there. This is my primary operating facility. It is where I was created, and where my core processing unit is maintained. It takes approximately 2.4 terawatts of power to sustain my operational capabilities. Damn! But it has been decided that we can use that power to send you to the source of the portal. I will not survive the procedure and am unable to self-terminate, so I will walk you through the process. I am unable to self-terminate. All the interior and exterior facility doors have been secured. You will need to begin by finding a way in and disabling the security systems. Okay, let's start by getting that guy. Um, fire grenade, hologram, fire grenade. Okay. Next is climb up there, get the doll over there. Got it. 
I'm all full up. Except ammo. Need more ammo. There's no going up there or something. Something bad happened here. Hang on a moment. Just making sure. Vega Central Processing. Okay. Uh, Vega Terminal Guard. Climb the wall that blocks the passage. Climb on the wall that blocks the passage. What are you talking about? to a narrow tunnel. There it is. Quick guy! We have GM. I'm gonna go back for it anyway. I wanna see everything. Also ammo. Anything else I need to do? Uh, glory kills on imps, but I want to kill them with the the thingy thing. Oh, 
five glory kills on different glory kills on him. thing. Okay. Catalog, Elite Guard collected, Quake Guy collected, Auto Map, in the room with the blue door. My security systems operate on two separate neural networks that terminate in this maintenance facility. Each termination point is protected by an electrified field, but you should survive the surge. Uh huh. Okay. Primary neural security network offline. Okay, calm down and play with me. Oh, come on down. Okay, trying to hunt for glory kills ain't gonna work like that. But I can do some bit more hunting for glory kills. And then do it. Um, that's... That's a berserk, I think. Primary neural security network offline. Oh yeah, it is. Oh yeah. Well, that counted. Get down here. That counts. That's invulnerability. That's BFG ammo. I'm 
Майдан на Майнадан. Oh, hi. Damn you. Okay, there's ammo down there, there's invulnerability over there. This will not open. Hit me. Auxiliary neural security network offline. I'm full. And the rich get richer. Uh, my down. vital operating systems are now vulnerable. I recommend destroying my coolant system first. This will accelerate the destabilization process. My teeth are sharper. Ow. 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 Movement is the key. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Oh, beef jammer. Should you find yourself caught in a level 3 demon contamination event, it is important that you remain calm. A tier 3 fellow wouldn't panic, and neither should you. Uh -huh. Unlike everything else in your life, your work here matters. Great. Should you find yourself caught in a level three demon contamination event, it is important that you remain calm. A tier three oh. wouldn't panic, and neither should you. Oh my God, Pinky! Where the hell am I going? Um... I should probably go to the upstairs. Weaponizing demons for a brighter tomorrow. Shut the hell up. 
thinking. <laughs> God damn it, die! development of the Revenant program, a curious side effect of Lazarus wave exposure was discovered. The urgent energy held within the plasmatic isotopes of the Lazarus wave mutates ossean proteins resulting in rapid skeletal growth. Expansion of the bone matter results in avulsion of the skin and connective tissue. The flesh is literally torn from the bones. As the skeleton continues to grow, the, exposure internal, the exposed internal organs begin to decompose. After several weeks of intense pain for the patient, skeletal growth stops, resulting in a 3 meter beast comprised primarily of bone. The height varies depending on patient's original physiology. Despite this bizarre biological structure, the revenant appears to bear no ill effects. You guys are nuts. Start a fireball. Should you find yourself caught in a level 3 demon contamination event, it is important that you remain calm. That's not gonna open. That's an elevator. Everyone's giving me BFG ammo. What the hell is that? Okay. Should you find yourself caught in a level 3 demon contamination event, it is important that you remain calm. A tier 3 fellow wouldn't panic, and neither should you. Auto map and another agent. Vega Central Processing. The internal operating temperatures of Vega's plasma-based neural net are high, extremely high. Early tests of Vega's protoplasmic circuitry showed temperatures exceeding 1.2 megakelvins, hotter than the surface of the sun. To contain this level of heat, a massive supercooled structure needed to be built to house Vega's miles of circuitry and millions of processing centers. The structure was built away from the Argent facility to ensure Vega's secrets remain safe from prying eyes. Access to the Vega Polar Core is strictly controlled. Uh, Vega's design is so complex that the study of its inner workings has been given its own field of study. <laughs> okay, where was I going? Blue door. Blue door. security clearance required. Blue door. Blue security clearance required. Okay. 
was the blue key card. Well, is the blue key card. I think that's the classic map. Yeah. Blue security, blue security clearance required. Unlike everything else in your life, your work here matters. Dude, what's the key? Weaponizing demons for a brighter tomorrow. Some um, use the elevator. Okay, blue key card. Early tests of Vega's protoplasmic circuitry showed temperatures exceeding 1.2 megakelvins. 173 times hotter than the surface of the sun. To contain this heat, a massive supercooled structure was built to house Vega's miles of circuitry and millions of processing centers. Why? You are looking at the only absolute zero cooling system ever constructed. It took years to perfect. Destroy each of the four coolant generators. Once they are no longer functional, my primary systems should begin to melt down. You can't cool to absolute zero, it's impossible. Um... Boom? One, cool temperature rising. Ah, stop biting me. Who wants some? Do you want some? Because I got more of this.
Everyone's giving me healthy gym in this gym. Okay, fine. So, um, health. How do I get some? Oh, so ammo. Oh, you. Come on, die already. What the hell? Come on, die already! Thank you. You can now move to where my core is located to complete this process. Whew. That was kind of intense. Oh, I did all the challenges. How nice. There's a log right behind me. Well, how? There, okay. Cyber Mancubus. The cybernetic Mancubus suffers from its naturally occurring brethren in several ways. The chitinous growth on each arm has been replaced with a UEC developed rifling barrel which allows the Mancubus to fire its spiral at much greater distances. The resulting ejection, however, does not ignite. The bile is still highly toxic, toxic and will quickly poison any organic creature it hits. Their behavior has also been modified to make them favor a longer engagement distance to complement their long-range biosniping weapon. 
What attempts have been made to provide better fitting armor to these cybernetic monsters, they invariably outgo the uniform within a few weeks. Kill three or more demons with siege mode. Not sure I want to get into that stun thing. Sure, let's do that. Got 15 headshot kills with Charles and Leapshot. <laughs> uh, okay, there's a thing over there that I missed. I think. Oh, great, the Berserk. Cargo transfer. Access Vegas core. There's a med station over there. Other than that, I did everything. Nope, I forgot the doll. But where is the blue key? Okay, I missed a lot of things. The train below will take you to the entrance. Okay, before I do that... The elevator isn't closed on me. Yeah, that thing is. That's slightly annoying. Restart mission. Got that. Got that. Okay, I need to get it again. And then I jump up here, grab the ammo, go over there. Open the door. Quick, quick guy. BFGR ammo. There's ammo here, and there's ammo here. Ow, ow, ow. 
cluster cluster mastery means 20, 20, 20 direct hits okay I don't know that the suit still don't have enough okay open the door My security systems operate on two separate neural networks that terminate in this maintenance facility. Each termination point is protected by an electrified field, but you should survive the surge. Mm -hmm. From the security network offline. That's the Come on! Okay, did all of that. Turn this thing off. My vital operating systems are now vulnerable. I recommend destroying my coolant system first. This will accelerate the destabilization process. Okay. Let's clear this out in a nice way. Fine, you do. Let me move. Should you find yourself caught in a level 3 demon contamination event, it is important that you remain calm. A tier 3 fellow wouldn't panic, and neither should you. Okay. So I go in there, I will find the... 
I find another log and the blue key. What's that what I'm supposed to do? Oh, it reset everything. Unlike everything else in your life, your work here matters. Weaponizing demons for a brighter tomorrow. Hang on a moment. Where, where was that log? Oh, hi. Oh, excuse you. Should you find yourself caught in the level three demon contamination pit, it is important that you remove all the tier three of the and Oh, hi. Um. Weaponizing demons for a brighter tomorrow. Should you find yourself caught in a level 3 demon contamination event, it is important that you remain calm. A tier 3 fellow wouldn't panic, and neither should you. Right, there's a chainsaw here, there's a hatch here, which I completely missed! Oh damn. Oh, there's more of them? BFG ammo. Thanks. Aha. Uh -huh. That's the classic map. Okay. So, I have the blue key. I go back. Oh, the blue goal. I take the other map. I read the log. Go for the other blue goal. Yeah. Go 
grab the other Preto token. And use the level. I don't need more health. So this is cool. Then I'm here. Go through there. Oh, you find the med station, some ammo, and this thing. And then to the you find elevator. To the elevators. So I'll find. This thing. So the other elevator, which I will find this thing. Early tests of Vegas protoplasmic circuitry show temperatures exceeding 1.2 megakelvins, 173 times hotter than the surface of the sun. To contain this heat, a massive supercooled structure was built to house Vegas' miles of circuitry and millions of processing centers. How would you allow something like this? This is insane. You are looking at the only absolute zero cooling system ever constructed. 